Hello everybody, welcome back to Jared Opens a Box. We are here in Season 6 once again with Episode number 2, and we have some really cool pops here. I did promise a stacked season of Jared Opens a Box, and so far I've already had a Deadpool Collector Core Box, and now we have yet another wave of Pokemon Funko Pops. We have Ponita right here, we have Mew, and we have Raichu, and I'm going to open them in that order. So we're going to go ahead and just get right into this one because I'm going to be honest with you guys, I love reviewing the Pokemon Pops. I love Pokemon as a whole. Um, as a kid, I definitely really enjoyed all the different characters and stuff. So seeing them all, you know, as pop figures now uh, is insane. It's super cool to me. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this one. But let's go ahead and just get right on into this episode. We're going to kick off with Ponita because I will admit it's probably the least uh, uh, interesting design to me. Um, but here's Ponita. This is part of, I want to say this is wave six of the Pokemon Pops. I, I could be wrong about that. I think this is wave six. Um, and it does come with Ponita and the other two as well. And also, I think this is the one that came with the Silver Pikachu Pop, um, which my girlfriend has that one. I personally did not want to get that one uh, just because it wasn't, you know, I already have so many Pikachus at this point. I didn't think it was necessary to, uh, to get that one. But I'm glad to finally be able to review more of these things. Um, this is part of the Pop Games line. There is no Pop Pokemon line yet. I will say yet. At the rate that they're coming out, I would not be surprised if, like Marvel, Pokemon ends up getting its own section um, in its, uh, you know, in the games line. Um, it's Pop number 644. Surprising there's only that many. Seems like there should be more. Uh, these ones actually do still have artwork. They're probably one of the last Pops we will ever see that have artwork. A lot of the newer ones are switching over to the 3D model designs. Um, and again, on the back, you do see uh, Mew and Raichu. No Silver Pikachu on the back of this one, because the Silver Pikachu uh, box just shows the normal Pikachu artwork, so that's why it's not on the back of the box. Um, but yeah, it says collect them all, and we so far have all of them, so that's really cool. Uh, part of the Pokemon line, of course. Let's see Ponita. Alright, so... I, I'm, not gonna, I'm not really going to have much to say about this one. It is a pretty basic design, but it has its own cool features. Um, it is just a pony. I mean, that is what it is, just a horse. Uh, has the, you know, traditional horse look, I, I guess, you know. Uh, ears, has a snout, uh, the, the beady black eyes, as most pops do. The hooves, you know, it's got all that. But the thing that makes this pop really cool is that it has fire all over it. Um, as it is a fire-type Pokemon. Uh, we do see a lot of fire, has like a little fire mohawk right here at the top of the head. Uh, fire going down, like some fire spikes going down the back of the head. A fiery tail, and some fire on each of its four legs, um, which is really, really cool. Um, other than that, though, pretty basic design and nothing too crazy here. But you're going to have these kinds of pops with Pokemon because a lot of them are really basic designs. Like, you literally have, like, a caterpillar or, you know, a little bird, like with really no, or a rat, you know, with like Rattata, you know, like they don't really have uh, these different designs like some of the other games and stuff do. Um, so that's why a lot of them have simplistic designs. Um, so, I mean, that's, I'm fine with that, especially because these other two don't have simplistic designs. So you kind of get, you know, a decent, uh, a decent amount of content there. Um, but yeah, that's Ponita, nothing much else to say. It is pretty cool for what it is. Um, yeah. Does it stand? Yeah, it actually does. Surprisingly enough, it does stand pretty well on its own. I did not expect that. Um, next up we have Mew. Uh, this is a pop that I kind of thought would have been a little bit earlier in the Pokemon line due to its popularity. I mean, we got Mr. Mime before Mew, for Pete's sake. Um, but we have Mew now, so we finally get to open a Mew pop. We had Mewtwo actually before Mew, which is pretty funny. Uh, but here's Mew, it is pop number 643, so it was produced one before Ponita. Um, pop part of the Pop Games line. It does have artwork as well. I bet whoever did the artwork for the Pokemon Pops was probably having so much nostalgia, you know, developing the artwork uh, for these uh, figures. And of course, the other characters on the back of the box. Let's see what Mew has to offer. Uh, Mew is a psychic type Pokemon, I believe. So it has a lot of pink on its box, but that's also the color of Mew. And maybe her tail got stuck. <laughs> All right, so here is Mew, a very cute pop. I've always thought Mew is one of the cutest Pokemon, and this pop definitely shows that. 
Um, you see the very cute face, the blue beady eyes, rather than Ponita's black beady eyes. It's got gigantic feet. <laughs> These are some huge feet there, but very tiny hands. You really can't even see them, uh, but she does have hands right there. A very long tail that stretches all the way to the back of her head. And other than that, it's a pretty simplistic design. As Mew is flying, they thankfully did give a base in here, which again, I would not recommend taking this out because it would be a pain to get back in from my personal experience with these kinds of bases. Um, again, it's not exactly the, um, you know, the most complicated of designs, but that's fine because Mew never was. What made Mew so cool is how rare it was to find and how iconic of a character it was in the Pokemon games and even in the movies. Like when they had uh, the Mewtwo movie, uh, what was it? They had a Mewtwo movie. Um, one of the Pokemon movies was based off of Mew and Mewtwo, and it was really, really cool. I think it was, I don't remember what it was called. And there was also a Lucario movie. It was Lucario and the Mystery of Mew, which I absolutely loved that movie as well. So Mew is a very iconic character in my opinion because a lot of my memories of Pokemon all involve Mew. So that's why I'm really glad to finally have a pop figure of this character. Um, and there's plenty more to come. I hope to see a Lucario in the future since I did bring him up. Uh, and I'm sure we will at the rate that they're going with these figures. Um, but there's only been one Pokemon, believe it or not, only one Pokemon outside of Generation 1 that has been produced, and that was Pichu. That's it. Every other Pokemon produced so far has been within Generation 1, and that includes our final pop for today, Raichu. This is the final evolution of Pikachu in the Pokemon series. Of course, like I said, there's so many Pikachu pops. It was finally refreshing to get the final evolution as we already had Pichu and Pikachu. This is pop number 645 of the game's lineup. You see Raichu down there. He does have artwork, of course, on the side of the box. And actually, I really like the artwork for this one. It looks super cool. And the other characters on the back of the box. You know the drill. You know how it works. Uh, Raichu is, of course, an electric-type Pokemon. So we have a little bit of variety here. We have Psychic, Fire, and now we have Electric. And here is Raichu. This is actually a really cool pop. I'm super glad they made this one because I figured that it was a character they had to make. Um, oh, excuse me. <laughs> I think it is a character that they had to make just with how popular Pikachu is and all of that. Um, but yeah, you have the black beady eyes, of course. Uh, you have the cheeks. He has little uh, yellow cheeks here uh, on his face. He has a little smile right there. You can't really see it. But he does have a little smile and a little black nose. The ears look super cool. I really do like the ears. I think they look fantastic um, on Raichu here. And his tail is also pretty long, just like Mew's, and it ends in a really, really cool uh, lightning bolt right here. Really cool Funko was able to do that. Rest of the body overall pretty simple, just a little bit of a white stomach there, uh, some pretty decent sized feet. <laughs> um, and that's pretty much it, really. That's a pretty generic one. Again, nothing too crazy. I love the lightning bolt that they have on the end of his tail. Um, but nothing much else to say about Raichu. I do love the Pokemon Pops, though. These things are super crazy. And I didn't think we would ever get them, you know? Eventually, one of these days, I'll be sitting here reviewing Nintendo Pops. You know, like Mario, Luigi, Bowser, you know, that kind of stuff. That will be the day that we know Funko has absolutely gone crazy. But you know what? I'll be ready for that day. I'll be, I'll be ready. It'll be so awesome. I know it's going to happen someday, guys. It will. Um, but for now, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video featuring these three awesome Pokemon Pops, which I do recommend, by the way, if you're a Pokemon fan, then, um, yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.